Ingenuity made history back in April 2021, becoming the first helicopter to ever fly on another planet. The first flight of a powered aircraft on another planet. Its original objective was to complete five test flights over 30 days. We have a 30-day experiment window, and so we have about two weeks left, and we, will, we believe we'll be able to squeeze the next four flights that we have planned. This increasingly bolder flights, we want to go hundreds of meters out towards the end. We do want to push it. But Ingenuity exceeded all expectations by flying 14 times farther and 33 times longer than planned. It logged more than two hours of flight time since its launch nearly three years ago. Not bad for a tiny aircraft that doesn't even weigh two kilograms, about four pounds. What, what the Ingenuity team has done is given us the third dimension. They've freed us from the surface now forever in planetary exploration so that we can now make a combination, of course, of driving on the surface and sampling the surface and doing reconnaissance and even scientific experimentation on inaccessible places for a rover. And I think this is exactly the way we build the future. From merely testing flights on Mars, Ingenuity evolved into an aerial scout for the Perseverance rover flying over areas of scientific interest to capture images and help the mission team determine new targets. You can transmit that image back to the rover and the rover knows how to uh, manage and navigate through the obstacles much better, right? Because you're able to get a plan view. And that is what Jenny has done. After completing 72 historic flights on Mars, its mission, already much longer than expected, came to an end earlier this month. As it was coming down for landing, at least one of its carbon fiber rotor blades was damaged. Lessons learned from Ingenuity will allow astronautical engineers to build new aircraft with more advanced flying capabilities on Mars. The next phase is to fly a much larger vehicle. Now we know that we can fly on Mars atmosphere, and so now we can go uh, global. <laughs> we can really go places, go down into the canyons of Mars, because there the atmosphere is thicker, and that is probably where we will finally see any kind of residues of life. That would be uh, the real thing that all of us uh, want to see. Ingenuity will be remembered by many as the first helicopter in space, and the data it provided is already a big push for humanity's exploration of Mars. It is Tian Shan, CGTN, Los Angeles.